I am the knight. I am Batman. We've all grown up watching superhero cartoons. In these cartoons, the men always seem to have an extremely wide jaw and square chin. What is it that makes a man's face appear masculine? And that's exactly the question that we're going to be answering today. Hi guys, my name is Dr. Haroon. I am a cosmetic doctor who specializes in non-surgical aesthetic treatments. In today's video, I will be discussing male beauty, what facial features make someone look more masculine and what treatments are available to enhance the masculine features of an individual's face. There are a number of facial features that make someone's face look more masculine and contribute to their overall attractiveness. Generally speaking, a masculine face is more angular and defined, whereas the angles in a female's face are softer and more rounded. The shadows that are casted on a male's face are harsh, but in a female face, these shadows are softer. Looking at the overall face shape, a masculine face is one that is square or rectangular from the front. The width of the cheeks is generally the same as the width of the jaw, which results in a square face shape. The chin is flat rather than pointy and has a squarer, more wide appearance. The chin and the jawline are standout features of a male's face and are usually the biggest contributors to the attractiveness of a masculine face. This might explain why over recent years, men have grown and shaped their beards in ways that enhance the appearance of their jawline and gives the illusion of a sharper, more prominent jaw and chin. The ideal cheekbones of a masculine face are slightly different to that of a female. Men's cheekbones will generally be flatter and more horizontal, whereas a female's cheekbones are more high arched. The eyebrows will also be flat and horizontal rather than arched when compared to a feminine face. Non-surgical cosmetic treatments have become more and more popular amongst men over the last decade, and there's a few reasons as to why this is. Firstly, there has been huge developments in the techniques and products we use when delivering these treatments. The risks and the recovery of the procedures have gone down dramatically, to the point where a lot of these treatments are considered lunchtime procedures, meaning that you can go back to work immediately after having the treatment. Patient awareness is also a big factor, and with the aid of the internet and social media, men are becoming more aware of these treatments and reaching out to find out if they can benefit from them. And lastly, which hopefully isn't a big surprise, women aren't the only ones that want to improve their physical appearance and look good. Although women might be a little bit more open about this, men also want to look good and will take steps to improve the way that they look. Let's look at some specific treatments and procedures that can make someone look more masculine and enhance their overall appearance. Jawline filler is one of the most popular treatments for men and arguably the most effective at making someone look more masculine. Placing dermal filler in the jawline can help achieve a number of different cosmetic outcomes that can enhance someone's masculine appearance. Firstly, dermal filler can be placed in the angle of the jaw, which gives the jaw a more broad and wide appearance from the front. On the right candidate, this can make the overall face shape more square, which as we discussed is a more masculine face shape. Another benefit of this is that it can sharpen the angle of the jaw, which generally is an attractive feature for both males and females. However, with males, a more prominent angle is desirable, whereas with females, a softer prominence is usually the preference. Dermal filler can also be placed along the body of the jawline, which has two benefits. Firstly, it aids to widen the jaw, which as we've explained is a masculine feature. Secondly, it improves the transition between the lower half of the face and the neck, which further enhances the appearance of the jawline. Chin filler is another effective treatment that can make someone look more masculine. Although chin filler is a different procedure from jawline filler, these two treatments are often combined as they complement each other when the goal is to masculinize the lower half of an individual's face. The goal when trying to masculinize a face is to create a broad, wide and square chin with dermal filler. As a general rule of thumb, a masculine chin is wide and a feminine chin is narrow. 
For the right candidate, cheek filler may also be used to enhance the masculine appearance of an individual. Dermal filler is placed along the cheeks to give them more definition and give a sharper appearance of the cheekbones. It's important to remember that masculine cheeks are generally more horizontal than female cheeks, so this needs to be considered when the treatment is carried out. Masculinization treatments can be great to enhance someone's overall look and to make them look more masculine. However, if these treatments are done incorrectly or carried out in the wrong candidate, it can potentially have the opposite effect and make someone look feminine. As we've discussed, a masculine chin is broad and square. If chin filler is placed in the wrong areas, it can make the chin narrow and pointy, which is generally associated with a feminine chin. Masculine cheeks are more horizontal and generally have less volume than a female's cheeks relative to the rest of the face. Again, if dermal filler is placed in the wrong areas or if too much of the gel is added, it can make someone look more feminine and result in a V-shaped face shape which as we've discussed is a feminine face shape. It's essential that you do adequate research about your chosen practitioner and ensure that they have the knowledge and the skills to carry out the named procedures with your desired results. When these treatments are carried out on the right candidate with the right products and the right level of skill, the results can be life-changing. I hope you found this video helpful and if you have any questions regarding these treatments or any other treatments that we offer, please get into touch. Thanks a lot guys, bye now.